When we decided to uh, sell our home and travel full time in our RV, it was all about getting out and seeing different places, but also having different experiences, meeting different people. Uh, I got to travel a lot in my career, and I learned from that time that, that going to different places was really exciting and being able to see different things, but also seeing the different people that you would meet and maybe a different way of living so that they might have ideas that I might not have thought about before. And that really is experiential learning. It's expanding your, your thoughts, expanding your perspective on things. And that's what we really enjoy about traveling. And it's also why we're very proud of our daughter and her family for becoming digital nomads themselves. They can work remotely, so they sold their home, but they're not just traveling through the US, they're traveling internationally. And recently, Nancy got to go visit them in Italy. And what she found was, while these children are traveling, they are learning. And they're learning through experiential learning. Um, so I'm electric power, but they also, um, they also go speedy fast, faster than these. They're learning how to go take a train, how to know which platform to go to when they take the train. What train number did, what platform number did she say to go to? What one did we go to? Four. Four. So we should be on the right train, right? Yeah. yeah. You think we're on the right train? Yeah. yeah. Which trains are the fast trains and go through all the way without stops? Which trains are not? Yeah, yeah. Is there another train? Is there another train? Yeah. Yeah, Is this window nice and... Okay, point it. They've traveled on buses, ferries, cars, trains, planes, pretty much every mode of transportation you can. And that's just one aspect of their daily living and one aspect of their experiential learning. Yeah, yeah, where are we going? We're going to Florence today. We're going to Florence. Okay, again. So watching Nancy interact with the kids in Florence was a great way for us to know, hey, we're really proud of them and what they do. So if you get a chance, check out our daughter's Instagram site on The Winging It Mom, and you can see a little bit more about how they're dealing with international traveling as a family. So let's take a look at Nancy's visit to Florence. I'm Steve. I'm Nancy. And together with Mars the Blind Sheltie and Phoebe the Warrior Princess, we are living our dream. Our goal is to travel the U.S. and Canada in our 2016 Tiffin Open Road while spreading the messages taught to us by our pets. Keep smiling and be kind. Join us on our travels by subscribing to our channel as we continue our great adventure. And don't forget to leave us a comment to let us know how we are doing. We're on a train. I'm heading to Florence, um, but the train doesn't leave until five o'clock. Um, until five. Until five. Uh, till about 15 minutes. Till the train doesn't leave until 15 minutes. And then we're going to go to the Christmas markets. And we're going to walk around and see the city. Maybe we'll go in a church. Maybe we'll go in a church. What else what might we do? We might um, get some ice cream or maybe not. Oh, you know what? We'll get ice cream. Okay. Is, is today a good ice cream day? Yes, yeah. because it looks very sunny out today. Yeah. We are now in Florence. Big city. Kind of has a New York City vibe. Oh, there we go. All right. 
So you can see here, there's some people. People, you can see. Are we coming see. up to a square? Looks like. And we're walking. We're walking um to um um the Christmas market. The Christmas market. And um you can see back there there was some stuff and there's an electric bike over here you can see a lot. And there's a motorbike you can we found see the here. Market. And you can see there's some Christmas stuff in, in this big vehicle right here. It's very interesting. This is just unreal. Wow. And then you turn the corner and there's more. that these buildings took. And then you look at this building here and just how dark it is with dirt. And then look at the horses. Max, how's the view? Is it good? What do you see? Water? Water? No. Headed back. Say goodbye, Florence. 
it was real. So amazing. I gotta give it to the kids. They have done amazing work. Does anybody want to give me some french fries for the ride home? French fries! Well, hope you enjoyed this video and hope it's encouraged you to get out and experience more through travel. As always, keep smiling and be kind. Safe travels, everyone.